Yeah, I'm feeling like playing a little bit of Turner Keeper today. I will admit, I've already made a couple of attempts. It has been about 10 minutes since I booted up the game, and I've already had two runs die on me. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think I'm playing my best Isaac today, which is a darn shame, because you gotta play some pretty tight game when you're trying to play Keeper. Uh, so, I gotta clutch up and get good. Ow, that's not a good start. At least I've gone a few rooms without taking damage, right? That's a good... That's a good omen in some ways, I guess. I don't have money, but I might as well check what's in here, so... Whoa, I need that! I need the balls, please. Thank you very much. Oh, God. I gotta collect every single coin. Like, my life depends on it. Oh, my God, I did such a good job this room. Holy crap. One more coin is all I need. Let's go. Okay, so that's the, that's the, that's the sack. That's the bag. That's the balls secured. All right, all right. This is the most important item you can get on any keeper run. Like, it is indescribably important. Being able to get that early, especially, I am going to be swimming in stats going forward. Also, where the hell is my secret room? It must be, like, up here. I also love the unique sprite you get when you have keeper sack. <laughs> Bro is... Bro is, uh... Yeah, he's, he's having a rough day, I guess. He's not enjoying life very much right now. <laughs> I love his goofy little face. Was there anything else in here that's even worth buying? Uh, maybe the speed upgrade? I'll see what the uh, what the boss drops first. Because uh, if the boss just drops the speed up, I'll just get that instead, right? One thing at a time. If the boss drops the damage or tears up, I'd rather take those, right? It's all up to what Mr. Duke of Flies wants to provide me with. Wait, if there's a Duke of Flies, that implies there's also a Duchess. My man! Bro's probably getting laid. A ton when I'm not the one killing him in his room. No way this guy was single all his all his times. Marbles. Interesting offer. The marbles. Do I want the marbles more than I want a speed upgrade? I think I do actually. I do get to gulp trinkets and because uh, I can actually take damage, right? So yeah, sure, let's go for that. I hate this room specifically because you cannot collect any of the fucking money. Please give me that at least, thank god. <laughs> I- oh, I need that, let's go. I need money, please. Wowie, I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid loads of money. God, this room is hellish though. I gotta- <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> so much shit going on, so much of these dudes just like being able to hit scan and snipe you sometimes, like that. Trying their damnness to do it. Okay. Woo! That's good. And that's good. And I would love to be able to gulp the crown so I can carry the telescope lens. That being said, if I don't gulp the crown by the end of the floor, unfortunately I think the telescope lens takes priority because it will ensure I get a planetarium sooner. And, ow. Oh shit, that, I need that more than anything though. <laughs> I need to gulp this first, if anything. Holy crap. Swallow Penny is such a go to trinket for Keeper. Oh man. What I was gonna say is telescope lens is gonna ensure that I can get that planetarium sooner and actually go to item rooms again. Always get people asking me. I always get people asking me. I, uh, I sometimes get people asking me. I just like segueing into it the way I do, okay? As to why I skip item rooms so much as Keeper and go for planetariums every time. It's quite simple, really. It's just because, would you rather spend a key to go into an item room where you have to buy the item anyway, Thus you like basically get the opportunity to spend money on an item that you might not even want, right? Which is obviously not ideal. God, what a hellish room this was, by the way. Or, you rather save that key and then get an item from the shop, which uh, has item room items anyway, because item rooms are like shops are better as keeper, right? I think it makes more sense to go for the shop play, in my opinion, until you get a planetarium at least. After that, yeah, you can look at your item rooms, but by that time you usually also have the money. This is the next thing, especially on these early floors, you tend to not be swimming in money too much. Rooms don't have that many enemies in them usually, uh, you, or you don't have like economy enhancing items that give you like a ton of money or anything like that. I hate that I got hit and now I'm on one health, but oh well. Do I want to check this devil deal? I gotta. Mm, not worth it. Not worth it. I'll buy this though. I have a dilemma to deal with now. I want this telescope lens because it can actually lead to getting multiple planetariums as well. I don't even have bombs, brother. Oh, okay. Well, here's a wait. I have a plan. This plan is something crazy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up to get a bunch of coins. I'm going to try to deal a bunch of self damage to gulp my trinket 
How am I gonna do this? Playing this guy. You can also pay out with coins, which is pretty nice. There you go. That makes this easier. I'm only playing this guy to try and gulp my trinket. It's gonna work eventually. I, I'm sure it'll work eventually. I love that- Whoa, backstabber? Give me that. Oh, man. Well, it's actually for the better, because it means I can keep playing. <laughs> Please gulp my trinket. What are the odds that self-damage makes you gulp a trinket? Surely it should be happening, right? Holy crap. Yeah, keep not paying out. This is perfect. Right? I have marbles. I should be gulping, right? Eventually. This this should happen eventually, right? I'm, I'm right for this. This is the right play. This is the correct play, right? <laughs> Surely marbles works on self-damage. I need to actually look this up. Hold on. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure if it does. Has a, taking damage has a 5% chance to swallow Isaac's currently held trinket. 5%? That's low, man. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, well, off I go. Continuing the grind. Hey, I swallowed it. Let's go. It worked. Let's go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Problem solved. I got that under control. Now, will I continue playing that guy? Maybe getting him to pay out or uh, gulping another trinket or something like that? Perhaps. For now, let's grab this. I mean, I might as well, right? <laughs> I'm, I might as well? I'm too lazy to, like, walk all the way to the shop. Can I get some coins out of you, perhaps? If not, I'm also fine with it, but, like, give me some coins, man. I don't want a left hand. What the hell? I'll try a couple more times, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. How many coins are lying around? Not enough to buy mom's box, that's for sure. Okay. Well, let's not sweat it, then. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Nah, my patience is wearing thin, man. I can't. I can't. I'm done. Whatever, man. I didn't really mean to buy that key, but I guess it gave me a point for three damage up, so it was worth it. Yeah, telescope lens it is. That's what we're rocking going forward. Let's go, dude. That's gonna make getting planetarium so much quicker. Like, I'm already at 65%. There it is. I can go to my item rooms. Would you look at that? Now I just need the money to actually buy something in here. What are we dealing with, first of all? Saturnus? Not terribly exciting. Uh, but I guess I'll take it, obviously, because it's a planetarium item. Well, the smart thing to do would actually leave it, be leaving it behind for now. Just in case I get a reroll, right? Imagine I find like an ED6 or something like that, and I get to reroll this. That would be cool. I would lovingly do that. Whoa! There's also just some good stuff in here. <laughs> some tiers and some options, and obviously the stats I get them. Dude, the Keeper's Sack as the first item is nuts. It's so crazy. It, I mean, it quite literally is nuts. But you know what I mean. I also, sorry for bumping my mic there. I'm sure it sounded horrific. Belly Jelly is great. I'll absolutely take that. Thank you very much. Sit on Mary's side real quick. Uh, might as well, it's free money, right? Ah, oh, fuck, forgot about options. Whoopsie. Oh, well, I got bums. Let's see if you want to give me a nickel. All right, never mind. It's okay. I'm all right with that as well. It's all right. I won't be sad. I'll be fine. Tell a friend. <laughs> why did I... Yeah, why did I say that in the... In the beat, I guess, of Slim Shady? I don't know. I just kind of felt like it, I suppose. Haven't listened to that song in ages, uh, or much at all, really, for that matter. I just kind of felt like doing that. Musically inclined today, I, it appears, which is weird because I'm not normally musically inclined. That's another great trinket to have, unfortunately. I'm currently married to Planetarium Lens, Telescope Lens, whatever it's called. HP, useless. Uh, plus, I don't even have an active item, so it's, that's that's the next thing, right? I, I don't even have an active item, so what's the point of taking, taking an old capacitor? <laughs> Okay, 50 cents though, that's good enough. I got, uh, whatever his name is, Curtis, whatever, in my, in my pocket. What is up with my sprite, bro? Keeper, he's seen better days, man. He's not having a good day at all. Bro is suffering. <laughs> bro is uh, just having a heinous day. Is not great at all. Anyway, let's just annihilate Min Min. Holy shit, dude. Bit of a range up? Ah, well, it's stats beyond range as well. And there you go, we keep a 10% planetarium chance anyway, which isn't high, but it's better than 1% after getting your first planetarium, right? The double planetarium is actually feasible in this case. I like the idea of that credit card. That is a mighty enticing thing. What do we got in here? Sad, Bumba, or E. coli. <laughs> okay, well... Not particularly exciting, but I got stats out of either one. Sad bombs actually would have been good, considering I have scatter bombs. I'm gonna make so many bullets appear, probably. Don't know why I didn't even think about that. Whoa, what a shop, though. Nice. Evil Eye is just good. I'll take this to finally have an active, plus it's actually a good one. Because it makes finding secret rooms a lot easier down the line. Matter of fact, just felt like this one was here. Hello, Hornfell. Oh, boy. You just died to my, like, my Saturnus. That's what I get for trash talking earlier. Clearly, it was, uh... Out for no good. 
Hmm. I have no reason to really take either of these. Empty Vessel is aight, but not great. And Sack Altar literally does nothing for me, so uh, I guess I'm just done. Yeah, I could have credit carded, but again, that's not worth while to use a credit card on either. Credit card is worth using on uh, nothing, really, because I want to get the stats from buying stuff. But if there is a Devil Deal and I still want to keep Angel Chances, that's probably what I would use it on. Because at the very least, that's going to make it so I don't lose my Angel Deals. That's about it. What's this uh, dice room got? All the entire floor? Ah, sure. Oh, I need to gulp my trinket. I need to gulp my trinket. Because that cancer is... Looking mighty fine, dude. Here's hoping that it just happens naturally. Uh, although I am not taking a lot of self damage, so I need to leave permanent money around as well. What do we got in here? A restock machine. Well, I will keep restocking. Shielded tears. Yeah, sure. Dead onion would have been amazing as well, but I think shielded tears is fine. That being said, though, let's have a look at what the shop holds for me. More money. Beautiful. Oh, just a ton of money. Well, perfect. Perfect. This Now I just gotta find a way to damage myself. I guess the curse room door might have to be the way to do that. I really hope it doesn't boil down to that, but I think it will boil down to that. No matter what I do. I'll leave that around now, for now as well. Oh, you could also just give me a gulp pill. That would also be cool. Okay. Hello, Clutch. I love that I killed one of your little freaks. Just like that. That's really cool. It's actually really awesome that that just happened. Let's check this angel deal. Well, it is an okay item. Okay, now I need to find a way to gulp my trinket because I need that cancer. <laughs> I, I need it. There's going to be a lot of backtracking involved once more. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of it. And I think the best way for me to do it is to really just hit the curse room door unless there's like a blue fire or something. There's a set of spikes in here. Fuck it, this will do. Might as well check what's in the challenge room, right? While I'm getting myself down to 1 HP. Oh, fuck. I gotta do this room on 1 health. Wait, I wanna go in with a full Saturnus. Let's give it a try. Fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? I die to the pile right now? That would be pretty bad, actually. That would be a pretty bad thing to happen, to be fair. I do have shielded tears, which keeps me safe from a lot of projectiles, though. I need you to die as soon as possible, please. I need money. No, you didn't drop... Okay, please drop money. Please drop money. Please drop money. Please drop money. Let's go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. We're all good. Singe, you don't- you got nothing on me, man. You don't even phase me. You don't scare me, dude. You're nothing before me. <laughs> What's this card? Hello there. Sun card. Eh, well, would've been cool uh, a bit sooner, but I guess I can use it to fly over all these gaps now that I think about it. Why wouldn't I use it, right? I can see forever, which is useless, and the Wheel of Fortune, which is uh, annoying and useless. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't hurt myself on the spikes now. Ah, shit. I gotta do it on, these, on the door now. I gotta walk through there every single time just to be able to- Oh my god. I will be doing this many a times this run, huh? But I will gulp this trinket. Let's go! Finally! Okay. <laughs> Jeez, got that knocked out. Okay. Fat tears upgrade. Let's go. Things, uh, dare I say, things are looking quite beautiful. If this drops another god trinket, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, thank god it didn't. <laughs> I would have been so mad having to go through that entire rigmarole again would have been a bit annoying. <laughs> oh, that's a good trinket. <laughs> oh, that's a good trinket as well. Hmm, the age-old returning thing of, oh, that's a good trinket, oh, that's a good trinket, oh, that's a trinket I would like. Oh, that's a pretty good trinket. There's not much in this shop to spend my money on, but considering I gotta spend it anyway, I may as well, right? Just buy random stuff. Speed down. A bit down. nasty, a bit upsetting, to be honest. Let's get this and, uh, Maybe I'll abuse it. Probably not, though. I'm not the biggest moving box enjoyer. I think it's a lot of overhead for potentially incredible payoffs, but usually the payoffs are not quite there. IMO. Sometimes they are, but a lot of the times it's so much work for so little payoff that it's just kind of not worth it. So I'm not gonna bother. I'll instead absolutely annihilate these guys, thanks to Saturnus being at the perfect range at the very start of the fight. And there's my second angel deal with eh, yet another pretty decent item. Give me that for damage as well. My stats are out of control. Dude, if I could get Libra now, ho! Oh, I've become a bit of a Libra enjoyer <laughs> lately. Well, I could do another, you know, play here to get my trinkets and stuff, but like, oh god, there's gonna be so much. Wasn't there like a room with a bunch of money? If I had mapping right now, this would be so much less painful. It's fine, I can live without. 
the glasses. Yeah, it's okay. Just take me down to the next floor. I guess considering I touched on music already, here's a here's a little bit of a bit that I was cooking up. Uh, well, a while ago actually. That's not really a bit, but it was you know something that just entered my mind a while ago. It's a realization I made, and it's like that I think that I think I'm like a bit of a broken human being in some ways. But maybe this is a completely normal thing, and I'm just, you know, misinterpreting it. This only happens occasionally. But for some reason, some way, I don't know why this happens to me sometimes, but it does. Whenever I happen to listen to Minecraft music, like the, like, the old, old OG, you know, like, just mi Minecraft background music. The Swedens and the subwoofer lullabies and whatnot. For some odd reason, even though I, to be fair, uh, like it did, I don't think I even played that much Minecraft as a kid. I get overwhelmed with an unbelievable sense of nostalgia to the point where I actually start crying. I, I, I'm not joking. Like if I am without context, like it, this doesn't even happen when I play Minecraft. It only happens when I'm just randomly chilling and I listen to Minecraft music. I just start dead ass fucking tearing up, and I'm, I'm like, why is that happening to me? Why do I have this like? crazy overwhelming sense of nostalgia for for like when I listen to the Minecraft music. Why do I have like such an, a strong emotional response to hearing an old Minecraft song? That's crazy, right? It's it's insane. It, it's insane why or like how for some reason just some silly little chill video game music evokes such a feeling within me. Such an emotional response. I mean, I, for some reason, I've noticed this, like, music in general seems to make be one of the things that makes me the most emotional sometimes. Like, there are there are times when, like, I, I I've associate music with things very strongly. Even though I don't even listen to music all that much, there are some songs that I listen to in specific circumstances or whatever, and those specific circumstances have ingrained themselves into my head as being associated with that music. And I guess for some reason, Minecraft music has associated itself in my head to the point where I just... Well, you know, I get a little melancholic when I listen to that shit. Which is crazy, man. Because I am... I, I, I'm not that much of an emotional guy, really. It's just kind of crazy how music does that to me. For some reason, music is the one thing that really does that to me. And it's it's wild. I don't mind it, for the most part. Because it's, it's not that much of an issue, usually. But yeah, it's uh, like the only other time you can catch me getting emotional is if there's like a... Somewhat emotional... Not even necessarily sad, but just like, you know, emotional scene in a show or something I'm watching. I guess this is just what it's like for a guy that, and this is just being brutally honest or whatever, for a guy that bottled up a lot of his emotions in his teens. Like, as a, as a teen, I was like, I don't want to think about anything critically. I don't want to be emotional. I just want to, like, shut myself off from the world and enjoy vi playing video games every day, which was fine and it got me through the days. But to be fair, I was never diagnosed with anything and I never really looked at it in any specific way. But I think I was probably a little depressed as a teenager for no specific reason, really. Ow, what the hell? I think I was just a little depressed, like, to the extent of, you know, I felt a little sad all the time or, like, a little demotivated and stuff like that for some reason. Got over it, obviously. I'm doing completely fine now i got absolutely no problems but i think that's you know it's like an after effect of it is the uh feeling a little melancholic from time to time when you listen to music and stuff but it's crazy man i i'm sure i'm not the only one that minecraft music does that too like whenever i you know just listen to a song it's like on youtube or whatever and then scroll down in the comments there's hundreds of people also being like oh this makes me feel some kind of strange nostalgia and shit so like obviously i'm not alone in that like i know that right but it is, it is still funny to me regardless. How, like, something as simple as music, something as simple as video game music even, right? Something that you don't even necessarily would listen to casually for the most part. I mean, it's nice and chill, but, you know, my, my casual listening even is something usually a little bit more energetic. Like, I, if you're curious, I, I love drum and bass. All right, that's, I think that's a, it's about as opposite as you can get of the ambient, chill Minecraft music. But still, for something like, you know, that you basically exclusively associate with a video game, it, to, if we're to like evoke such a crazy emotional reaction out of me, I think there's something profound about that. It says a lot about me as a person. And I'm sure that it will not just like, you know, do it now. I think it will do it probably for the rest of my life. I will probably have those associations for the rest of my life. And Lord knows what it's going to be like in the future. Lord knows what uh, what life is going to be like down the line with that, right? Maybe I'll associate those, uh, those songs with new things in the future. Maybe I'll have different music that will associate with... Uh, great or terrible events in my life, who knows? But it's, uh, yeah, music has been like a weird thing for me, man. It's always kind of managed to cheer me up. 
whenever I was feeling in any way down, which is goes without saying for most people, I would say, but it is it is something specifically interesting to me, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, enough about the, the weird melancholic solitude thing or whatever. Enough about that. We're here to have good vibes, right? Although that is in a way good vibes, because I don't think it's like tears of sadness, right? Like the, the, the nostalgic, like melancholic feeling isn't even necessarily tears of sadness or like I'm, I'm crying because I'm sad that like, oh, the good days are gone or whatever. I, I think it's like almost more like tears of joy. Like I'm happy. Like I, I actually realize this. I, I don't cry at sad shit as much as I cry like at happy shit, right? When I see like, like a really happy, wholesome scene, that shit gets me going way more and like associations like that versus like sad stuff if there's something like, really sad going on like oh my favorite character dies in a tv show or something whatever i'm like oh man that's sad but like it doesn't really phase me all that much that, this is why i think i'm a broken human being i cry more likely i'm more likely to cry at something really like kind of sad but like also with a wholesome ending like ah, what's a good example of this maybe if anybody's watched mob psycho um there's like that one arc where reagan do, does his own thing for a while, right? Because uh, he falls out with Mob for a bit and then goes like through the whole like ex existential crisis arc. That shit hits me hard every single time I watch that show, man. I've watched it multiple times now. That shit hits me hard every fucking time, man. And just thinking about it now, man, I'm starting to tear up a little bit. I gotta stop talking about this, man. That shit, like, and it's not like, it's a bit sad, but it's not super sad. It's got like a really happy conclusion to the arc and that, the conclusion is what gets me, man. The conclusion is what gets me. That's where I start tearing up. I'm like, oh man, this is so wholesome. It's so nice. It's crazy, man. I feel like I'm a broken human being. I don't know. I don't know if it's normal to get, like, cry and get sadder at happy things <laughs> than, uh, than to get sad at actual, like, tragic events. It's a bit weird, huh? It's a bit weird. My whole emotional, like, compass is all off or something. Maybe that's why I'm so fucked up. Maybe that's why I think that, like, a pumpkin with a scary face cuffed into it is just normal to me. It's not even scary or crazy or weird or anything. It's just completely... S completely ordinary. A normal experience with nothing crazy about it whatsoever. <laughs> Man, what a, what, a, what a rabbit hole to go down while playing Isaac. By the way, this run is going marvelously, as you can imagine. Having insane stats thanks to Keeper Sack is, uh, yeah, it's a free win there, man. It's a, it's a free win. It's the balls run. You know what's gonna be great about this run, actually? I've just realized now. A while ago, I got a comment with somebody saying, one of these days, one of your thumbnails should just say balls in it. Because sometimes my thumbnails have, like, like, yellow text in them, right? And the uh, person was saying, hey, one of the days you should put balls as the word in the thumbnail. And I was like, I'll note that down, because that's not a terrible idea. But I have yet to, I have yet to have found the perfect opportunity to do it. And guess what? I found the perfect opportunity to do it. This is the run, man. The balls run. Here's the problem with the damn credit card, by the way. What am I gonna use it on? I don't want to use it because I just want to spend money to get stats. But, you know, I've been carrying it this entire time. I guess hoping to maybe get another devil deal before I got my angel deals. And now I'm kind of like, well, what am I hanging on to it for? Shit serves no purpose to me. I don't know why I'm doing all these rooms. I'm literally like at the money cap anyway. I guess one of these could have an item or something. Hold the phone. Hold the fucking phone, dude. If they're giving me a sack room here and... I have more money than I could do anything with, ever. I did waste a coin, but whatever. Why wouldn't I just uh, have some fun here, right? Don't like the Celtic cross just kind of cutting me off from my, my play here. I should not have taken that yet. I don't know what I was doing. Whoa, holy light, let's go. There's not much left for me to do here. Yeah, I can't get like an angel to teleport or anything, so I'm, I'm done here. Whatever, let's leave. All right, let's like annihilate Satan, right? This should be fucking easy as pie, dude. He's just gonna stand no damn chance. That was a bit too soon, but thanks to cluster bombs, it still worked anyway. I haven't done the bomb in a while, so give me a break, okay? Oh my god, he's annihilated. Right, I have shielded tears too, so as long as I shoot, no projectile will ever harm me. I am too powerful. I am too strong. Carried a credit card all this way just to never use it, because I will probably just buy everything here for stats. <laughs> so, yay. Like, yeah, I just spent all my money, but also, I got so many stats, bro. <laughs> the money I can get back regardless. I don't even need it anyway, but I can get it back regardless, so I'm not worried about that whatsoever. It's not about the money anyway, so it's sending a message. I am surprised at the lack of lucky pennies I've gotten, though. That's definitely surprising to me. I would have expected to get way more of them. Some goodies, perhaps? Uh, well, I do have some keys to spare, and considering I'm like unlikely to get chests naturally, I might as well just, you know go to town a bit it's all pretty mid i would love to get like a reroll. i will hold off on grabbing anything besides like technology because that's amazing <laughs> while i still have the chance to get a reroll. okay like this is five items in here if i can get a 
D, a dice of some kind, a die. I want to be the change I want to see in the world, right? Use gr grammar correctly or whatever. That will allow me to reroll. I will be very, very happy to have that secret room just lying there with five items waiting to be rerolled. Oh boy. Huh? Well, there is a chest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Let's just go to Lamb real quick. This should be easy. Yeah, he's fucking destroyed by these thick lasers. Yeah, love to see it. A void portal. Can I squeeze past you? Thank you. <laughs> I don't really want to do that right now. I'd rather fight Mega Satan on his run anyway, but you know. I don't want to do that void just yet. If I can avoid it. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll be here all night. Let's uh, just grab everything in here then. At least it's all passives, right? We got some actually decent stuff here. Okay. Time for this guy. This fucker. This fuckhead. Just absolutely annihilate his ass. Yep, that's pretty good damage, all right. And as I kill these waves of adsy spawns, I get more powerful thanks to Lusty Blood. So I'm not gonna complain. I also happen to have uh, an Incubus out of a little delirium for a second there, which helps a lot. <laughs> That's really nice. My damage output is pretty damn nasty. I should get closer so I can have the fires hit him as well. What I hope makes a difference is the fact that I can block all his bullets. Yep, he will never hit me. He will never hit me. On, on the, the one, the, the few shots that don't get blocked by my lasers get blocked by the fires I shoot every once in a while. He's already, that was so fast, dude. Holy shit. That was so good. No void portal out of that one, unfortunately. However, that's the run. It was a fun one. It was a great one. It was the one where you get Keeper Sack as the first item of the run. <laughs> so, that was good. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I certainly have, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye!